Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily change a mono track over to a stereo track. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I have this video here. And when I play this, all right, this is uh, called Crazy Cop by Konami. You should hear my audio but it's only coming from one channel. And the reason that is, is my microphone is actually a mono microphone, but whenever it recorded this, it recorded on a stereo track, but the sound still only comes out from one channel. However, there's actually another audio track here as well, because I also recorded the desktop audio. So if I go up here in VOC media player and I go to audio and then go to audio track, I could choose from the microphone that was recorded or the desktop audio. So let's go ahead and play that. So as you could probably hear, this is in stereo. So it comes out of both the left and the right channels. So let me show you how you could actually fix this within DaVinci Resolve. And it's super easy to do. So once you brought your clip over to your actual timeline down here, we'll go ahead and drag down here. And what you notice is it's already separated these tracks to the left and right channels. So let's go ahead and uh, make this full screen. Now, if I play this now, it's gonna play both my microphone audio and the video game. Uh, which you could probably tell the volume is also super loud. So let me show you how we could first make the mono track actually come out of both left and right channels. And then I'm going to show you some really super easy ways to adjust the volume. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this track, the desktop audio or the video game music track for now. Go here and mute it. So if I play this extra people, I guess it's only going to play the microphone audio on audio track one. But if you the notice, shows are great. Okay. So I, the audio is only coming out from the left channel. So here's a really easy way to fix that. If you have the same problem, you could simply choose this clip, the audio clip, right click on your mouse, and then you'll go to clip attributes. And you'll notice here, it says stereo audio one is on the left channel and on the right channel, it has embedded channel two. But in this case, this was a mono microphone. So there wasn't anything recorded on channel two or on the right channel. So all you have to do here in embedded channel two, choose embedded channel one. So the same audio that you had on your left channel from the mono microphone will also appear on the right channel. Now for this second audio track, I'm going to leave that alone because it truly is in stereo already. So I'll say, okay, so let's go ahead and play this back from the beginning. All right. This is uh, called crazy cop. And as you could probably tell the same audio is now coming out on both the left and the right channel. So now you have stereo sound for your microphone voice. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30 day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now let's go ahead and turn back on this video game sound. By Konami. And as you can probably hear, the audio is a little bit too loud and it overpowers my actual microphone. So all you have to do is select this second clip right here. Go up here to your inspector. If you don't see that, make sure that inspector is selected. And then instead of your video tab, go to your audio. And all you have to do is lower this clip volume. So I'm going to lower it. Well, that's not the right one. So make sure you have the right clip selected. So I'm going to select this clip right here. Okay, let's try that again. So as you can see there, the waveforms are lower. And now if I play it reminds it, me of a, and a little bit like radius because you get these extra. So you probably noticed that the video game is a lot lower now and you can continue lowering that if you want, or you could, you know, increase it if you needed to. So that is it for this particular tutorial. If you actually had any other thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and thoughts, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, 
like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.